Hi, welcome to the TNT Show. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Performance Guards. And today we want to talk about Lego games. How do you feel about Lego? So, the new Lego Dimensions was recently released. Uh, how do we feel about the direction that Lego is going in? Everything is awesome. And where do they go from here? What do you guys think? I like the simplicity and kind of regular way that they take franchises and put them into a consistent formula. I'm okay with that not changing for a while. I'd like to just see them do even more franchises mm -hmm. um, and put that into the same context and have fun with it for a while. I don't know if the, if the world is fatigued with Lego Lego games yet. It may <clears throat> be starting to get to the point where it get there, but they keep, you know, it was thin at first. It was like, okay, Lord yeah. of the Rings, and now it's DC, you know, it's, it's Batman, and it's Marvel, and it's Jurassic Park, and, it, yeah. and I think as long as the marketplace sustains it, I, if there's something I'm interested in, I play it. Well, they are very successful in the current format. And, and for good reason. I mean, the rule used to be licensed games are terrible, you know, with that, except right. for the, you know, the, the notable exception here and there, like GoldenEye 64. But most, most of the time, if you saw a licensed game, you knew it was going to be terrible. Or the, so, spot, the spot game, the domino spot yeah. game on the Nintendo. That was high quality <laughs> licensed game. Like, <laughs> terrible license, great game. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the, the interesting thing is that a lot of the Lego games have been the best version of a licensed game for right. that license. Yeah. Right. If not ever, then at least in the last several years. I mean, there haven't sure. been better Star Wars games coming out than the Lego Star Wars games. There's never been a good Jurassic Park game. Well, okay ones, but yeah. never a good one. Yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean games or, you know, all of that. So Lego, mm -hmm. they've, they've proven their formula yeah. and that they can do a really good game of its sort and they can adapt pretty much any franchise to it. Um, I think the interesting thing will be to see if, you know, with the new generation of gaming, um, if they can find a new a new direction to take it where they can have sort of a next level of Lego games. And if they did that, that could even allow them to reuse some of their old franchises, some of the, the favorites versus, tell you versus you, trying to get into the less common ones. What you would enjoy is if we did a VR where you have to actually build your own Legos using a camera mm -hmm. and VR, you wouldn't really. <laughs> so I, I think I think VR Legos could could be fairly intriguing actually. But yes. Why like what is Lego doing that makes them better than other people who are attempting these franchise games? Like why why I why aren't simplicity more franchise games done well? I think simplicity. I think they just put the characters in there, they make the levels and then they give simple gameplay. They don't try to do too much. Mm -hmm. They don't try to make a lot of crazy Mechanics. It's really you get in. You know what you're. You know what to expect. Mm -hmm. All the personality is there, right. um, and it, it just works. And then you know when you're playing another one, it's gonna work. You know, mm -hmm. once they found something that works, they didn't try to change the universe every time, yeah. um, which is of course good and bad as you've made a hundred of them. Right. Yeah. Uh, but they 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 were smart. They made a smart initial formula, and holy crap. Just the planets just went space, whoosh, yeah. and I was like ah. Um, and suddenly you feel so small. Yes, now we need a space Lego game. Yes. Because there's not really one. Lego Spaceman. I, I think the what they've done really well is the combination of uh, familiar elements, the, mm -hmm. the Legos themselves, and the franchises. They they give you all the detail that you want out of the out of the franchises. I mean, every last character out of Harry Potter and every last character out of uh, <laughs> Jurassic World um, and the Jurassic Park franchise. Um, they, they give you a lot of the story elements that you already know about, and then they expand on that somewhat, mm -hmm. but they have great multiplayer, or at least a great co-op formula, and the art design is just, it's lovable, it's very accessible for kids, it's playable enough for adults, um, you know, it's all those things put together. It's not even particularly Lego, it just has the Lego art design, right. but that's plenty, apparently. Yeah, I think that's true. I support that. I think this is a good place for a cut. That's what I was saying. Oh, it's time for our TNT round. Hey. So, I've got a couple questions. I'm going to pose them. You guys are going to debate. 
G, you're representing the red team. Red team. I got it this time. Right. Matt's going to represent the blue team. And uh, I'll decide who wins the debate. So first question. What is the best Lego theme? Either existing or that should be. Matt, would you like to start? Yeah. You, would, I was expecting a different question. <laughs> um, Sorry. <laughs> 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 the best Lego theme currently, I don't want to give too much of an obvious answer, but it's definitely Star Wars. What, you think. like Star Wars or something? <laughs> Star Wars lends itself very easily to Lego. Um, that's why those were the first uh, movies that they made, or the first games that they made based on movies were the Lego ones. Because the not only it's it's inherent popularity, but the fact that they they have so many different spaceships and a variety of sets that are also very distinctive in their style. So they stand out from all the other Lego sets. They're they're very well themed. Uh, the you know there are a lot of different characters that you can make, all the different uniforms for all the different Imperials and the the rebels. There there's too many ways to make it interesting. Uh, also, Lego can play with the scale, so they can make the, the things as small or as big as they want to. You can have like a four brick Star Destroyer or a four million brick Star Destroyer, with you know, a, which is appropriately priced, of course. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You can make a lot of things with Lego with enough money. Uh, Star Wars is brilliant, of course. It's a brilliant Lego set. I think it doesn't exist, but it should, which is a Tron Lego mm. set. I think the neon colors and the dark colors and building kind of old arcade looking things like, uh, uh, you know, space invader looking things and just the whole yeah. universe and space and the light cycles and a whole light cycle set where you build out the actual little lines and... Everything about the old Tron was blocky anyway. Yes, it already was, it already was polygonal anyhow, so it fits right in and I think it would be just a magnificent set. And you can have lots of big things, small things, you know, all the little people that you love bit and bite and all the things i'd like to um, have, i'd like to have a life-size recognizer made out of lego oh yeah that would be fantastic there you go i think tron i'd like to have a reason to use the word polygonal oh, more often hey. polygonal uh, don't hear that enough it's not about marriage people <laughs> no uh oh this is a this is a tough debate both both teams really great answers uh, I think I'm going to go with uh, G on this, because I would also like to see Tron. Uh, Star Wars is really well done. There's so much you can do with it. But Tron, I think there's a lot there, a lot of untapped potential. So I'm good with that, because the, the theme of Tron, like being inside a system, mm -hmm. also inherently lead, lends itself toward the idea yes. of building and building a system. And so that um, that should work well thematically with what Legos are about. And Legos, they've... They've gotten kind of away from that with a lot of their sets. Yeah. There's right. like, this is what it's supposed to look like right. versus what do you Build want it to look things. like. Yeah. Yeah. There's just layers of why this is a good idea. We're, <laughs> we're getting really deep here, guys. I love it. Uh, all right, so, so far the score, one point, one point G. Yeah. All right, next yeah. question. Yeah, I'm zero right points. I, I don't want to phrase it that way, but yeah, you're, you're, you're a big zero. This so is going to be recorded for posterity. Kay. I have one point. One point. We stop there. <laughs> What is, I'm excited about this question, what is the worst idea for a Lego theme? It could exist this. or maybe the worst one that doesn't exist probably for a reason. The worst idea for Lego theme is the Special Olympics. Yeah, people are not going to like no, that. They won't care for that, not at all. Okay, good answer, Matt. Uh, I've got two ideas for this one, so I'm going to throw out the first one that I'm not going to use, which would be a Lego video game console. Basically, you build your little Xbox or your, your little PlayStation or Wii out of Legos, and then you build a little controller and connect <laughs> them with a little tube and then pretend to play video games, <laughs> which would be the, the, the most time-wasting concept ever. You could pretend to be wasting time. Um, I think, But I think even worse than that would be a... a, a a Trump Lego set, oh, where you get to build a little boy. Lego Trump tower. Oh. And of course, all the Lego men have to be Trump. I'm really rich. They have to look exactly like him, the same person. Uh, but you could build his uh, his real estate empire and then uh, have it go bankrupt, and yet he gets to keep all the buildings. <laughs> How brilliant is a bag of just hair pieces, Lego hair pieces? 
Yeah, people might enjoy that too much, actually. <laughs> oh, for the hair pieces alone, those are both actually really good. You can build answers. a build a Trump wig out of Lego pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Full size Trump Lego wig. Oh, I love that. Um, I mean, I was like thinking Fifty Shades of Grey That's... would be a terrible neckties. <laughs> and array. Just beyond this door. What is? My playroom. Like your Xbox and stuff. I think we're better at terrible ideas than we are at good ones. <laughs> but, like, there's a beauty in terrible ideas. Yes, yes, there is. I think I'm going to have to award the points for that round to Matt because I think Trump is yeah. a worse idea yeah, I'm, than I'm Special Trump Olympics bad. Legos. <laughs> the scores are tied, so we have to have a bonus round. Ooh, tiebreaker. So, your bonus question is what would be the best food to Lego lies? <laughs> you as know, you mean as in yeah, making yeah, as make, shape as Legos. Shape as Legos. As performed by Legolas. <laughs> <laughs> is there a Lego Legolas? <laughs> yeah, but he stops here, so he's a legless Lego Legolas. <laughs> yeah, Matt's first. Uh, I think Lego taco salad is where it would be at. <laughs> Um, if possible, I would build the, the shell out of little uh, little chippy uh, Lego pieces. They'd be kind of like Doritos 3Ds. Um, wow. So you'd build your little taco shell out of, out of Legos, and shell. then you'd have, like, the lettuce would be the, the flat pieces probably cut into thin strips, so they'd be like one layer of, of studs on each one. Um, and then you'd have little Lego chunks of chicken or pulled pork. Pulled pork is excellent in taco salad, by oh. the way. Um, sweet pork. Um, and then you'd have like little, little, the little round one studs would be like your onions and, uh, you know, maybe your, uh, like your salsa would be just little bits of Lego, yeah. uh, kind of nice. like, kind of like the animations done by, uh, by, uh, Pess mm. Mm. and that where he uses food and turns it into games. Kind of that same idea where it's like, it would look like, I can imagine good Pico the Gallo made out of little tiny Lego bits. I think that would work really well because it's cubes anyway, right? So Lego taco salad. I like, I like that. that this almost turned into a cooking segment. Oh! Oh! oh. Wow. Okay, I fine. Made. My turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, I am going much, much simpler in that I think that they should just make Lego jelly bellies. Like to have jelly bellies and you can link the flavors you want together and Ooh. build stuff out of it and then eat them. Like all these different combinations that you throw in your hands together anyway, but now they're all shaped and you build shapes out of them and then you just throw them in your mouth. Like, uh, except for the the bad ones like earwax. <laughs> and uh, Some people will be excited about that as well. So you have like one pink one and one lemonade one and make yeah, pink lemonade. Yeah, boom, lemonade. you throw those together yeah. and all of a sudden you've got, you know, pink lemonade tower that you just chomp through. Black That's, licorice lemonade. I like that. Yeah. No, I think that would be a pretty fantastic uh, co creation. And I want to now squeeze a bunch of Jelly Bellies together and pretend that that's what I'm doing. Ooh, those are both really good ideas. Uh, I think I'm gonna award the point to Matt, though, because it really turned into a cooking segment for me right there. <laughs> You're like, now pulled pork is also very nice <laughs> in a taco salad. I'm like, you make sure you wanna use a sweet pork. <laughs> nice and savory. Um. Hello there, children. It's okay. So that means that with two points, Matt's our winner. Congratulations. Right. Go blue team. Well, that is our show. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, and we want your comments. We want your topics. Please tweet at us. Please comment on this video. All the information is below in the description. If you're interested in supporting the TNT show, check out our Patreon site at the link below. Boom! See you next time.